Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add a shop to your Facebook fan page. So welcome to the Esatino Artist YouTube channel where we talk about money, marketing, and mindset. All right, so I'm here on Facebook on our Facebook fan page. And you see here it says manage page. Now we're going to be adding a shop to this Facebook fan page and there's two ways to get to it. So you might already see something like this that says create a shop and then you can click on create a shop. If you don't have this on your homepage of your fan page, head over to this side where it says manage shop. So you can click on either. So you can click on over here and it says here, set up a shop. It's got some information about it. And so let's click start shop setup. Okay, so some things you're gonna need to know. Here's what you'll need to get started. You're gonna need a checkout method, provide some business details, and then add your inventory. So your products or services. All right, so let's click next. Okay, so you can choose either of these two checkout methods. So it says here, check out on another website. So customers will be directed to your website from an items details page on Facebook. You won't be charged any extra fees. Or you can check out with messaging, like a messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, that kind of thing. I'm gonna prefer a website because we already do have a website with our products and services. So I'm going to keep it on that one next. All right. So we're going to need to connect a business account. It already has my name there. I'm going to put an email in. Okay. Click next. All right. So now it's going to ask you to create a catalog. Your catalog is an inventory of items that you'd like to sell. Create a catalog so you can add your items. I'm going to put something like this. And then you have to check this off and agree to it. Okay, click next. Okay, so from here you can double check everything and if you wanna change something, you can click on edit. I'm good with everything, so I'm gonna click the checkbox and then submit shop for review. All right, so this pop-up came up and it says that you can change the button that says view shop to something else. I'm just gonna say maybe later, I'm gonna leave it for now. Okay, so it's gonna take you to a page like this, the Facebook Commerce Manager. And you'll see here that it has my name and then it has our Facebook page right there. If for some reason you didn't get to this, head back to your Facebook page, go to Manage Shop, and then you'll see now it's different from the be beginning. It'll say Add Products, click on that, and then you'll get back here to that same place. All right, so let's click on overview. And then when you click on that, it'll say, it'll give you a little bit of a process. So now we need to add the items. And then you're gonna see here, add items you want to sell. So we're gonna click on the add items button. All right, you got three ways to add items. There's the manual option where you fill it in, data feed where you use a spreadsheet or a pixel, a Facebook pixel. So I'm actually gonna do the manual method and click next. All right, so it's gonna say here, add multiple items all in one go. Quickly add several items, speed up the process here, easily duplicate. Okay, let's quickly start the tour just so that I can show you guys. So they're trying to be really helpful and have all these things pop up for you so that it's easy for you to understand. Okay, so it says here, start adding your first item here, just like a spreadsheet you'll add information about your items row by row. Enter a short title. I'm just gonna paste the title here. Nice. So this is the five-step YouTube SEO simplified system. We already have this information on our website, so I'm literally copying and pasting the title description and the website link. Okay, so I've entered in the description here and I've literally grabbed it from our page here, like our website page and I'm just putting it in here because we already have the description of the course and now I'm gonna put the website link. Okay, and then let's scroll across here 
and it says here the price. So I'm going to change this to USD and I'm going to put the price of it. It is $47 and it, all this other stuff is optional. Condition is new. It's a digital course and all this. This is to make it visible and obviously it's in stock. It's a digital course. Brand is optional and content ID is optional as well. So the last thing here is we need an image. Click add images. All right, found it right here. Click save. You can add multiple images if you want, but I'll keep it at just the one. All right, now that we've added that, I'm going to click upload items. All right, so it says you've added one item to your catalog. All right, so we've added that one item so far and let's head back to overview. I'm just going to do the one so far. And then if you want to do more, you can just follow the same process that I just showed you. And here it says publish when you're ready. All right. So customers will see your shop once it's reviewed. This usually takes 24 hours. So I want to publish this. So I'm going to click publish shop. Okay. So now it's taken me to this new shop builder. So this is where you customize the appearance of your shop. So I'm going to click on get started. Okay. From here, let's go through some of the features that you can do. So let's head over to style and let's go over to colors and let's change the color of this button. So our brand colors are usually purple. Okay. We'll keep it at that. Click X, go over to the text. I'm going to make it large. All right. I'll just leave it at that. Head over to settings, go to visibility, edit visibility. I'm going to click on this, make it visible, click save, publish updates. Okay. So it now says that your updates were published immediately and are now visible in your shop. Got it. All right. And if we scroll down here, you'll see shop. And if we click, let's just click see all here and you can see, boom, there's the product. If they click view product, it's going to say something like this and it's going to say view on a website, which is where I connected it to. So I'll click on that and then it's going to take them to our sales page. So there you go. That is how you create and add a product for your Facebook shop. If we were able to help you out at all, please let us know by giving us a thumbs up. That would be very much greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.